Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Miss Mar, and we're about to learn how to paint a waterfall, lakes, and also rivers. JC, you requested waterfalls, and so this is me giving that to you. Here we go. So I'm gonna go in actually on my paper and kind of show us what we can do. And so if I'm gonna have a river going in to my area, I would just go in with blue and start to, like if I was wanting one right here, I would start to sketch that out with my blue paint like that. So I'm gonna show you like what I mean. So going in, water drop, blue, just like how we did our water, right? Like that. Once we have this, if I want a river, and I'm gonna do one right here, actually down here, cause I don't want my river up there. I'm gonna do a river. I'm gonna have this and I can start to map out my river like that and boom that's a river super simple if you have a lake same thing which we already have done this but it would be just making the same circle and then filling it in for your lake if I was going to have a lake in this piece of land I would just go in with my blue let me get a little bit more so you can see it and you would make your lake shape just like that. Right, super simple. Alrighty, now we're going to move on to the waterfall tutorial. In this section, you're going to need um, gray and you're also gonna need black to make our stones. Again, still using, oh no, my gray and blue are going together. So for this section, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start by, again, making my shape and stuff for my waterfall. So I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make these two rocks next to each other. And they don't have to be perfect at all. You're just making a loose rock shape, right? And I'm gonna go in above here and depending on where my water is falling, if my water is falling this way, my curve is going to go that way. If my, if I can see my water going this way, down this way, it would, my curve would be going this way for my second rock. Literally did not even explain what I just did, but the little arch that I made next to the two waterfall rocks that I just did, that's the other part of the waterfall so because we're seeing it at an shape. angle. Just so a loose rock shape, just like that. And making the sides like this, just like a loose kind of squiggly shape for the top. And we're gonna leave some of this section white in the center, okay? That's important. Like especially this part down here, we wanna make sure we leave it white, okay? Cleaning off my water, or my brush with my water. I'm gonna get rid of some of that color, some of that paint. Take my paper towel and dab off the extra because my water is kind of dirty. And then I'm gonna go in, whoa, go in with my blue like this. Oh no, it's starting to spread. Go away. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna make the water up here. And so let's say this is like a river or something that's up here. Same thing. You're going to go to the top of it. Maybe they're going into each other. Yeah. I feel like Bob Ross. I really feel like Bob Ross in this moment. So maybe they're like going into each other, like going into this like little river situation, right? We want to make sure we leave an area of white up here. And then this is like the lake or the river. You cannot see uh, the lake or the river down here that it's going into like that. And so once we have this rinsing off our water, 
I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna take a little bit of blue, making sure it's light, and I can start to kind of do like these line work that's really thick. So if my line's really thick, I wanna make sure I take my towel and like dab off my extra water like that. And I can kind of follow the shape a little bit, right? Once I get to the close down here, I'm going to leave it white because when it dries, we can go in and we can add like the splashing and stuff from like the water hitting the rocks and like all this stuff. And we can even go in with like, I have a white gel pen that we can use to like make it look like it's um, misty. Alrighty y'all, I literally could not handle how slow I was going. And so we sped it up to make it faster. Um, I am going in now and I'm going in with my gray and adding more shadow in our rock because it's too light and I couldn't really tell what was water and what was rock. I'm also going in and adding these tiny rocks along the river because I just felt like felt like it because I was having fun. Okay, so have fun. This is your map and your painting and you can add as many little rocks as you want. Remember, we're going to go in later with pen at the very end and you can trace over stuff. But yeah, I really couldn't tell like what was over here. So I went in right here and I'm like adding the shadow by touching it with the paint and like spreading it out in that kind of curved circle shape, following the shape of the rock a little bit. And same thing on the side, again, kind of making that little outline like shadow right there and already it looks so much better. Love that for me. Basically, this is the end of the video and I hope you guys had a great Thursday and that you were good for the sub and I will see y'all on Friday. Have a good rest of your day. Bye.